All right, what's good, people? Welcome to Sip on That. This is a show where you will experience real talk, real love. And I got my shoulders out today, so I might give you a little ratchet. <laughs> Either way, we're going to have a good time. Before we go any further, don't forget to like this video. Drop us a comment. Keep it cute in the comments because I do read the comments. Tell a friend. Call your cousin them, mama them, granny them. We want everybody to get in on the conversation. My name is Portia Mann. I'm Tanya Chambers. And I am Tiffany Mann. And we have a very special guest today. <laughs> we got the one and only Tia Mann. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, y'all? <laughs> they, they, they put me on program today, so uh, that means that mean we're going to have some fun on today. Hey, this is a judgment-free zone situation, so don't come over here and judge your mama. Don't judge me. Don't judge us. Judge your mama. Judge your mama. And yes. yes. All right. <laughs> Before we dive into today's topics, we got to take a sip because this is what? Oh, yeah. Sip, sip, sip on that. What we got? Tell um, you today we got what we call pink panties. Oh, <laughs> and for I your panty know. lovers out there, let me tell y'all about it. Okay, so this is a drink that I absolutely used to love in college. Okay. Two reasons. One, it was cheap. Because you didn't have no panties. <laughs> you didn't have no panties. Though, we, won't, we won't go into this. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so it is um, pink lemonade. It is tequila, because I love tequila, uh, and uh, Cool Whip. Oh, so cool. blend it all together. <laughs> you got to see it. All right. Cool. All right. Let's let's go. Go. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I know you knew. I got, I got you. I got okay, you. What we do? Life may take you up. Uh -huh. Life may take you down. All right. Turn up. Just be sure there's enough drinks to go around. All right. Everybody drink. Cheers. 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 She said, my God, but man. Boy, he turned right? water into what? Penny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, no judgment. <laughs> Ma'am. No, he did not. Okay. That's good, though. Uh, boo. Uh, boo, boo. No. Who cranking this on? <laughs> Tiffany is going to tell us what we're talking about today. All right. We are talking about. We're what? talking about what? We're talking about. <laughs> Let's talk about head. sex, baby. baby. <laughs> Before, okay, so since since we were in college, you introduced it. Why is sex such a big topic? Like, issue? Why is it such a big topic? Why is it such a big topic? Why is sex such a like iffy topic for you? Well, because it's iffy in certain settings, right? Right. But some of the programming worked. As a black woman, as a woman, mm -hmm. as a southern woman, as a person who was raised in church. Sex in the way that we talk about it is always like with shame attached to it. Right. So I'm really having to like unlearn some of that stuff and 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 be able to see I'm stuttering yeah. already. Yeah. 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 No I'm shame. usually quite the eloquent speaker, but whenever <laughs> it comes to this, for so long it's been so much shame attached to it that I had to like figure out how to come into my own sexuality and as a woman and things like that. So this is gonna be a very interesting day. <laughs> Interesting indeed. Is she shy? Nah, I, 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 not. I'm sitting not next nervous. to a shy person and a freak elite. Oh my god. <laughs> so, I'm a virgin. I don't know what y'all talking about. In now, speaking <laughs> of virgin, <laughs> how old were you when you lost your virginity? Who we starting with? I'll go first. Oh. I was 18 when I lost my virginity. Oh. I know I knew not that's good. I knew for sure that nobody was gonna pressure me. I mm -hmm. knew I was gonna do it when I was ready to do it. Right. And when I turned 18, that thing started. Thing oh, I was like, I, love thing. I, was like <laughs> I like how this okay, I like this. You know what? Let me go get this a shot. Yeah, you just say, let me spread them wide. <laughs> It, Why did I spread them too wide? Because it was my first time. So I was just like a little. Oh, no, I'm just a little. Like, <laughs> you know, that thing, oh, oh, so I was 18 mm -hmm. for me. Oh, what you want? The, I'm the guest. Y'all go lay. Okay. So mine was very cliche. Mm -hmm. It was prom night. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I was 17, about to be 18. So, mm -hmm. and yeah, it was an uncomfortable experience. <laughs> You know, I felt like I didn't know what I was doing, you know, and... Who it does? It, 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 I know, he didn't, you know, it's just like, oh, okay. you didn't watch no porn before that? I didn't. Oh, man. I didn't, I didn't study, I didn't practice anything before You should have studied. How old were you? Oh, I'm the, I'm the guest. I'm the last. <laughs> I, <laughs> I was 17, 
and like mine wasn't like because for a long time I was like I'm gonna wait for my husband and do what the Lord said and then like sort of as an act of defiance I was mad at God and I was like forget this I'm not gonna wait and I did it and it was like I should have waited on that <laughs> and it was like you see like you know what too right yeah well frankly uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. You guys were what age? Jesus. 17, 18. Whoa. Well, uh. Take sip. Take sip. Take sip. Well, uh. Since y'all was 17, 18, um, mine came a little earlier than that. Uh, we was uh, about 14, 15. Okay. That thing. Making it do what it do. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I was I was 14. Uh, was it good? No judgment zone. This is what we're doing. You just tell my now, truth. Get yes, this that's what we're doing. But you said, did I like it? Yeah. Then she said that. Oh, of course. We never stop. But guess what it is. I'm asking because I'm, 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 I'm asking because mine was very much too. Like, I enjoyed it. Uh, I hear yeah. a lot of people saying that their first time. You said you should have waited. And I was thinking, like, oh, we're going again. Oh. Yeah, see, I, my, mind, my mind was very, ooh. We. <laughs> hey, they wanted me to come home and be myself. So, how this, old were you when you told your parents about the first time you had sex? Oh, she found out that night or the next morning, technically. Wow. <laughs> so it was prom night, so I didn't come home. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, she so yeah, so she found out that that next morning because I didn't come home that night. So, needless to say, I was grounded. Yeah. Oh, so you, you just made a decision. Yeah. I'm just going to stay yeah. I, I get what you talking she about. Said, she was like, okay. I was like, Mom, you know, everybody's going to this party. Can I go ahead and go? She was like, yeah. She was like, uh, I was like, what time should I come home? She was like, you know, make the decision. And I'm like, <laughs> make the decision. I know. But when I came home, she was like, okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, she said she Wait, yeah, it was a setup. I don't understand how she knew that you had sex. Did you come home and say, hey, I had sex? Or she just automatically thought. She knew I was there, Pop. Oh. <laughs> she knew. <laughs> hey, shout out to AP. <laughs> so I like I had to think about that. I don't think I've ever like said, hey parents, I lost my virginity. What happened was I accidentally told on myself. So I had a serious boyfriend at the time. Mm -hmm. And for April Fools, I was like, <laughs> I told him I'm pregnant. They was like, so how would that happen? Uh oh. And I was like, now nah, mom's just playing. I'm not pregnant for real. That was like, no, the, the other stuff. Yeah. And me and the child been having a sex. Ah, oh, <laughs> dang. You gotta be quicker than that. I gotta yeah. be quicker than yeah. that. Yeah. I thought daddy and mama was gonna really know that I just had sex because that's what they were telling me. Granny and daddy would be like, I'm I'm gonna know the very minute you have sex. So that's really what kept me from having sex for a long time because I thought they were just gonna be able to look. And my body and no. But daddy did. Like when I lost my virginity, he was like Was it your glow? Come here. I don't know what it was. <laughs> you probably was acting too happy or something. I, yeah. You supposed like to was minimize switch. that stuff there. Yeah, you supposed to go switch up. <laughs> well, Granny said it was the hips. And she was like, your hips spread. And I was like, girl, I'm just getting older in age. Just what you just like, said. No, I was I had really you was in there just popping. Thing popping. For you, was, you was walking like on uh what's that, wait until exhale when yeah. she walked oh, away. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, look at that. And then <laughs> daddy <laughs> took my first out to get a pedicure to talk about the first time that we had sex. I was like, this is too much for me. I am <sighs> not See, even well. Now. They really didn't know, because I was like a thief in the night. <laughs> when I said I was, I was like a cat boy, say, sneak. Oh, we good? Yeah, you never know, because they was always looking at her or David. So me, the youngest one, I wasn't doing nothing. We were chilling. And mama had me out at the <laughs> clinic, and you out there landing low, spreading it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I go. <laughs> OK, um, ooh, let's talk. Safe sex, because mm -hmm. I don't think that safe sex is talked about enough. We joking and we having fun about right. our first times and Absolutely. all of that, but there are a bunch of teens and preteens mm -hmm. and women. It's some adult virgin, virgins. Mm -hmm. I don't know many. Right. No, me neither. But safe sex is the only sex. Okay. Yeah. I don't care if they say, just let me stick the tip in. Right. No. Wrap it up. Wrap it up yeah. all the time okay and, and, and don't be guilty uh, into it and also they got female uh condoms as well so i mean if you, you can use those too 
Y'all didn't know that? I didn't. You didn't? Oh, oh my god. Get some stuff some dick. <laughs> get, yeah. Look, huh? What? 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 Which leads me into the next point, though. What? Is it okay for women to have supplies? Men walk around with rubbers. They have all the supplies. Do women, are women allowed to have our own supplies? Like, I think yes. I say yes. yes. Because, like, you want to be prepared. I'm grown. I know what I want. We know yeah. what we're here for. Like, we know yes. what's going to happen. Everybody come in and play. Right. And then I'm not trying to have you get, be caught off guard if we get in the moment. And because what ain't going to happen is we're not going to do nothing without yeah. nothing. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> stay ready. Yeah. Right. You ain't got to worry about getting ready. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> God, no. I have a drawer. <laughs> Hey, you, got a drawer. you ain't come prepared? I am. Choose. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Choose your weapon. <laughs> I kind of got a drawer too, but I don't know. What's in these drawers? Because, see, I'm, I feel like I'm very much an old school person when it comes to sex. Oh, girl. I know. You got a. I know. I you know, so You wouldn't think come so. That's why I got kids. People automatically look at me and think, oh, she got three kids. She know how to pop that thing and do. I mean, I know how to pop that thing. Uh oh. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> but I'm just talking about as far as drawer. I don't have a drawer. I got like a of. 50 shades of gray situation in the drawer. Got bed restraints and things. Yeah. You ain't never been tied to the bed. Boy, mm-hmm. say, I'm telling you. What? I'm One day. I'm telling you. <laughs> That, there, there has to be a lot of trust it do, in order to be tied to a bed. I had, you know, handcuffs at one point, but I never got to use them because I felt like I didn't trust anybody enough to be tied to a bed to be. Hey, well, you know, no, because no, no, I'm in a relationship, so okay, that's the gotcha. only reason. Okay. But you, you tie me too tight, and then you hit me too. You hit, I, I was trying to stay in the moment, you but you hit me too. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got a safe word? <laughs> no, I ain't no safe word, nigga. Nigga, that hurt. It's too much. It's too much. Get off of me. <laughs> so it's safe to say that you are into toys. Yes. Into all of this. Have you always been into toys? Yeah. I've been. Really? Uh, I really have. This stuff. Yeah, man. So you just been a freak. I mean. Y'all just tr- didn't know it like that. We until did. I kind of got a little older. Why am I need to come visit your not your drawer? Cause I don't. That's weird. Never mind. No, Lies. I, mean, I, I can definitely show you. You just send, like, you can send a link to yeah. the things that you may no, have. Where, where yeah. can you go? I can help with shop. No, I, yeah, I, I need to. She to go. Oh, yeah. Not yeah. because a friend of mine. I was talking last night about that rose. Y'all yeah. heard about that rose? I, I've heard about yeah, it. I got her. It's an out of body experience you type of I thing. Got her. Yeah, oh, you I got it? Yeah, I've I been seeing it, yeah. but I've not. Uh, I've seen the reviews on it, and I'm like, she makes you sweat. Her bed <laughs> was soaking wet. <laughs> yeah. Sweating <I> wet. <laughs> <laughs> <She makes> you... <laughs> Sweating <laughs> wet, so you just. Sweating wet. In the bed. But wait, okay, so since you're into toys, then how does your. I shouldn't even ask that man, really. It don't even yeah. matter. You can just do like this, yeah. and men will be ready. How do he feel about the sex toys? Oh, he's like, come on, what are it? Go ahead. Okay. So, yeah, he with it too. So. Yeah. Hey, if you ain't with it, you better get with it. <laughs> yeah, oh, this is what we doing over here. Time, what's in your drawer? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, because you just told me. <laughs> no, I, I do have some handcuffs. I have not been able to use them yet. Uh, I have, uh, of course, the rubbers. Got to stay, uh, keep those on deck. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, a couple of dildos. <laughs> Still does. Still does. I ain't gonna lie, you give me like a butt plug type person. <laughs> what in the world? Butt plug? I ain't got that for <laughs> yet. <laughs> no, I'm still. No, I'm still me neither. On the missionary <laughs> side. <laughs> of the thing. <laughs> y'all was oh, even, y'all, y'all, y'all I ain't been really a like Christian too. Bray yet. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like. I, since we're talking about butt plugs, I do not like. You don't like you play. Don't get don't get away, get get away, away from, from my butt, bro. I don't like that at all. I don't. <laughs> it's just weird. Tia. No. <laughs> <laughs> it just feels weird. I'm not, we're not about to go deep into that because I'm gonna get real. I want you to shove all holes, okay? Plug them all. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta take a drink. Get that drink. I gotta drink. I gotta drink. <laughs> Girl, don't be, don't, don't be cute with it. Who? Mm-hmm. Come on, come on. Yes. Yeah, man. Oh. You, food, bro. you guys to get in there. I'm sorry, but this is just, this is the real tea that y'all get to see that y'all don't get to see on 
Man TV. <laughs> <laughs> or Man Family Killers. This ain't no Family Killers. Yeah, now, mm-hmm. now, if y'all want to see the little cute, uh, go over there. Mm-hmm. I want to shift gears for a moment because we've talked about like the light stuff, the fun stuff Mm -hmm. as it relates to sex, but intimacy, Mm -hmm. intimacy is more than just touching. That's why I think that's why I feel like I'm more of like a traditional because I'm very much a sapiosexual. Mm-hmm. Sapiosexual here. <laughs> <laughs> you have yes, you really have to. Stim- my mind has to be stimulated. I have to be really like intellectually stimulated. Like a good deep conversation would make me look at a man and go like, I, I, I see how they. You yeah, get what I, I'm saying? I, I feel it, and, and I feel like sometimes that's cool. Sometimes, mm-hmm. but I'm a person like a lot of conversation. I'm I, you. You got a. 30 minute tops with me. <laughs> and after 30 minutes, I'm gonna be like, Ooh, Stop you got a lot to talk about now. <laughs> you got a lot to talk about. with Jesus. <laughs> 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 Understand and connect with somebody that you definitely have to connect and have those conversations and not just try to just wham into the yeah. joint, but. Definitely have a conversation, but keep your conversation to thirty minutes. Not for me. The five. longer, the better, baby. I will Jeez, ride. That's a lot of. That's a yeah. lot of breathing. The ride, and it's emotional for me. <laughs> emotional for you? Yes. Yeah. I guess I'm a demisexual, yes. so I have, feel like I have to have that emotional connection to you to really want to have sex with you and to want to, you know, be open and be free, Mm -hmm. you know, with the sexual experience. I feel like that that unlocks the freak. Like, if you really want to experience some things with with a woman, my opinion. Yes, talk about your emotions. Open up to me a little bit. Make you feel safe. Yes, make me feel safe. And then I'll make you, no. See, but I'm saying saying you can't get that in 30 minutes. (laughs) I think that goes with dating in your 20s versus dating in your 30s as well. Mm -hmm. Because me dating in my 20s, and like having sex in my twenties, it didn't take much. It's like, oh, you on your way? Let me open this up real quick. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, we can get it popping. But now, in my thirties, you know what I'm saying? You want to talk to me? Yeah, I Rub, do. Caress my back. I, and I talk did. to me. No, really. I instead yeah. of just come on. Yeah, because it starts before the bedroom. Like, send me a cute text message. You know what I'm saying? Like, leave leave some little stuff right there, and then you know, I'll do it. But what about your role play? You are you you give me the type of cheerleader, handcuff, uh, mm-hmm. police girl type situation, Mrs. Oh, Officer. I'm gonna go too. I don't like role play because I I play roles for a living. I, well, like I, I act that. for a living, well, so like you would be good. I'd be fantastic at it. Like I'd be award winning at it, but I don't want to work in like like that in the bed. I, yeah, right, I, 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 I like role play actually. You do. Yeah, I did it once before. What was you? I actually like what, what, wrote a scene and then sent it to him so that we could act it out Greg, when he got there. <laughs> I want to know scene. Oh. T- t- Started with me. It's a balmy night. Oh, my God. We out on the patio oh. with my wine, of course. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he could. <cooked. laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm in my lingerie. Oh, okay. He comes in, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and we have, we do a little conversation or whatever, he and it just, superhero or something. <laughs> you know, I like Superman. Yes. Don't play. Play, <laughs> like Captain Sable. <laughs> I see, I was going to say super, super. <clears throat> Wait, okay. Did y'all actually do it? We did. Y'all did the we same. Did. We did. We followed it to the T. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm here okay. for that though, baby. I am here for that. <laughs> Go that. ahead. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't do that. That's too much talking. I just feel awkward. I'm not a role play person because I'm really too goofy for that. You know how y'all see videos where you start out sexy and then they get the. I am very much the goofy person. I'm not. What I'm going to do with my hands? Right. What I'm do with my hands. I get the middle. Yeah. Uh-huh. And it'll just throw off the whole, throw off everything. No, but, but I feel like they can lead it to. <laughs> And then you're in there. It is. Oh, oh, it is. Y'all like talking it about good. it, but I seen it in my eyes. Oh, I like talking about it. I like to be about it. Okay. <laughs> as, as a guest, can I ask this question? Just one question. Sure. Uh-oh. What's the most funniest sex situation that you've ever had? Oh. Funniest. funniest. I, I, st- I start with mine. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> 
So sitting, chilling, eating hot fries and stuff that night, you know, all that cool. Okay. We watching the movie. Movie went off. All right, bet. Movie goes off. Somebody goes down. But you got to remember, back to the story, we was eating hot fries. <sighs> hot fries and her don't match. Oh, I said, baby. <clears throat> baby. Babe, babe! Get up! Get up! Like, nigga, what? Get up! Like, nigga, get your breath or something. What? I had to hop in the shower, y'all. Like, I had to go wash that thing. Like, you know, yeah, yeah. So, bro, like, oh, hot fries. Hot fries. Yeah, you gotta stop it, though, too. Some people are let it go. No, ain't no letting it go, Doc. Mine was more of a. I farted. <laughs> Darren, you know what I'm saying? You were down there doing the do, and it was like a <laughs> But do you stop and say, oh, excuse no, me, my man? Not, you, are you not do this? Maybe he thought it was the other thing. No, no there no, no, came out there. Ain't no air, no, 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 no. I mean, but I did, I was like, excuse me. Excuse me, my bad. You want to stop, you know, you can let it air out for it. But if not, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> and you know they're going to keep going. Y'all from men, boy, men don't. Like, no, so it's like, that's all right. Nothing. You too. Tiffany? Yeah. Hi. No, I oh. want to know just one. Oh, funniest story. Oh, okay. So one time my little sister walked in. And I was trying to pretend that that's what, I, what we was doing. I was oh. like, no, nah, I had cramp. And I just, I like just kept building on stuff. To like the story. To no. the story. No, because he was trying to look. He, I, I had to take my pants off because he was trying to wrap. And he couldn't. She was. She just stood there like this. Why She just stood there just like that. I said, I'll give you $20. So just shut your mouth. Just shut up and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, nah, give me a big, big honey. Big face. <laughs> okay, time. Your funniest. Well, we're really funny, but... Um, so it was going to be the first time that me and this guy, you know, did something together. I invited him over or whatever. And he was just like, uh, get comfortable, girl. And I'm like, okay. So I put a wig on before the date. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and back then, my wigs weren't real secure. Oh, oh, <laughs> so, man. Yeah. So he was like, uh, yeah, you know, go ahead and get comfortable. So I took my wig off, like flipped it over oh, no. and threw it up on the night. <laughs> No, man. Me, man. I had my wig cap on. No, sir. No, sir. No, He didn't know. No, he, he, he was real like, oh, you got coffee. Uh -huh. Real coffee. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, we going to still do this, but. I put your wig on. Put your hat back on. Put your hat back on. It's okay. I can wear my brain. I mean, a <laughs> little silly look. It was, you know, yeah, it was yeah. giving. He probably was feeling like. But was it still good, though? It was. He felt like Her. he was doing Cleo for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not for this Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Sip On That. Don't forget to like this video, leave us a comment, share it with somebody so that everybody can get in on the conversation, and tell your haters to sip on that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Cheers. Get you a lot of that. <laughs> <laughs>